Morning everyone! If you're new to my channel, I'm Natalie and I'm a data scientist at an investment company in the internal audit department. In this video, I hope to strike a balance between keeping things interesting and delving into the intricacies of my work without making it too dry. So sit back, relax and enjoy! Before we get into the Monday grind, I always start my day with a refreshing cup of water. Normally, I have to go to the office four times a week, Monday to Thursday. But since I don't have any meetings today, I decided to work from home. The flexibility is one of the perks. First things first, I'm going through my emails and catching up on Microsoft Teams chat messages to ensure that I haven't missed any important updates or information over the weekend. A great thing about working from home is being able to cook my meals, which I enjoy doing. So for breakfast, I'm making a simple egg and bread toast. My tech stack mainly consists of Python and SQL. Python enables me to perform data processing, feature engineering, model training, and evaluation, while SQL allows me to efficiently store, retrieve, and analyze data in databases. The financial year is coming to an end, so I'm making a to-do list for the week to ensure I stay on track and close all the projects successfully. Over the weekend, I ran a model for a natural language processing data science project, mainly exploring the use of large language models to do term extraction, but to build the end-to-end -end model pipeline which involves five broad steps. The note is that data science projects are often not entirely new. They frequently involve the continuation of current projects, as data science projects are typically iterative in nature, meaning that they involve ongoing improvements and refinements. So back to the project I'm working on. Currently, I'm focusing on fine-tuning my data science model, particularly on step 3 of term extraction, doing prompt engineering for one of the terms that was generating many false positives. Also, just an FYI, that this project has been going on for several months now, due to the complexity of implementing and fine-tuning large language models, as well as the thorough exploration and analysis required for effective term extraction. As I look through the model outputs, noting down the flaws and limitations, a work around this was to try to craft prompts for the LLM to self-check on its answer and make any necessary revisions on its own. Now it's time for lunch. Today, I'm making pepper lunch with shabu shabu beef. Back to work. I'm vetting through slides for a closing meeting presentation tomorrow. This project was a business audit support initiative that I was involved in. And the rest of the day is dedicated to coding and diving deep into the NLP project.
Then the guy comes to us and says, hey, you know what I got? She's like, Good morning everybody! So today I'll be going into the office and I have a meeting at 3pm. It's a closing meeting on one of the business audits that I'm currently supporting. So it's always great to have projects closed. Before I leave, there's one important thing I can't forget. Saying bye to my cat, of course. The morning is dedicated to deep work, coding, and continuing to fine-tune my large language model. I find that my productivity is highest in the morning, so I prioritize complex tasks during this time. It's important to be aware of your productivity levels throughout the day to efficiently prioritize your work. And it's lunchtime! going to meet up with my JC friends who happen to be working nearby. I'm carrying this cute mini sling bag that was a gift from my cousin from Thailand. It fits all the essentials perfectly. Lao Pasat was our chosen spot and it's actually my first time here. My friend recommended ordering from this stall, Sing Hong Kong Kitchen. I got the egg pork chop rice. It was not bad, but overall, the food here is a bit pricier compared to other places like Amoy or Maxwell as it's more touristy. After lunch, they grabbed some drinks from Luckin Coffee and I went to check out their office building. They had this infinity pool that seemed suspiciously untouched. Back in the office, I did a final look through of the slides reports and finalized the documentation for the closing meeting at 3 p.m. The rest of the day was dedicated to deep work coding and continuing to fine-tune my model. I performed some tests using the newly designed prompts on multiple examples to ensure accurate term extractions. This initial sanity checking on a few examples is essential before applying it to the entire data set, as it saves both time and cost. Once I was satisfied with the output results, I decided to run the model overnight on the entire data set. Good morning, we are in the middle of the week. Yes. As I settle into my workspace, I first check the results of the fine-tuned model that I ran overnight. Overall, the results looked much more promising, but I still noticed some incomplete extractions. To address these edge cases, I decided to schedule a call with the domain expert later in the afternoon. Collaborating with domain experts is crucial in refining the model and ensuring accurate extractions.
After lunch, I got on the call with the domain expert. Together, we brainstormed and discussed possible solutions to handle these edge cases more effectively. Right after that, I attended the final presentation by a colleague who was rotated into my team for three months. A bit of context, he is currently undergoing my company's graduate program. This is his second rotation and he will be presenting what he has accomplished during his time with our team. After the presentation, I dive back into my work, making the necessary script changes based on the insights and suggestions shared by the domain expert during our call. Hopefully, these adjustments will help improve the accuracy and completeness of the information extracted from the agreements. Today has been a productive day filled with collaboration, presentations and making improvements to the model. morning yep it's finally thursday it's my last work from office day because i get to work from home tomorrow looking forward as i settle into my workspace i once again review the model results that ran overnight i am pleased to see that the false positives have significantly reduced and the edge cases were now properly handled. It's a positive sign of progress. At 11am, we have our weekly team stand-up meeting. It's a great opportunity for us to gather as a team and share what we have accomplished in the past week. During this roundtable discussion, we also address any challenges we're facing and seek advice and support from one another. It's a collaborative and supportive environment that fosters growth and learning. The rest of the day is dedicated to cleaning up my codes and scripts. After ensuring that everything was organized and well documented, I pushed my code to a new branch in our Git repository. This way, my colleague who I'm working on this project with can review and merge it into the main branch seamlessly. And yes, it's time for dinner. Tonight, I was invited to a special celebration planned for my boyfriend's brother's birthday. We headed to a rooftop bar called The Arden at Raffles Place. The view from here is absolutely breathtaking. We can see iconic landmarks like Marina Bay Sands and the container ships out at sea. I'm actually not really sure what ships they are, but yeah. We indulged in bar bites and drinks, and I particularly enjoyed this glass of white wine. My favourite bar snack here was this sweet potato puree with these chips. It felt so heartwarming and I'm determined to recreate this at home.
Good morning for the fifth time. It's Friday, which is a work from home day for me. I'm grateful for the extra sleep I can get since I don't have to commute for an hour to the office. I start my day by making a cup of hot tea to kickstart my productivity. Today, I don't have any meeting scheduled, and I realize that I still need to clock 10 more hours of training before the end of the financial year. In my view, Continuous upskilling and learning are crucial, and my company requires me to complete a total of 40 hours of training every financial year. To meet this requirement, I've signed up for a Udemy course that aligns with my professional development goals. After returning home, I continue clocking my training hours and work on refining my coding based on the suggestions my colleague provided based on the code I pushed yesterday. It's important to collaborate and incorporate feedback to improve the quality of our work. And finally, it's the end of my work day. Tonight, I'll be meeting some friends for dinner. We were supposed to head somewhere in Chinatown, but unfortunately, one of my friends had to work overtime at the very last minute. So my other friend and I decided to go to her house instead. I am home, it's like 1.20 a.m. It's late and I'm tired, but thank you everyone for watching this week's work life. I hope you've gained some understanding of the life of a data scientist and yeah